Okay, welcome back. In the first segment, we reviewed all the gauges, levers necessary to operate the water car. In this segment, we're going to talk about how to drive it on land and also how to retrieve it from a shipping container if you've received yours that way. So let's take a look under the water car. You'll see a wooden cradle, and we build that cradle here at Water Car. We screw that cradle to the bottom of the shipping container. We then put the water car over the cradle. We raise the wheels, and we strap it just like you would a boat. So the water car is really traveling to you, not in land mode, but in water mode. That takes all the, all the uh, energy off the suspension while it's in transit. Once you receive it, disconnect the strapping. Now I want to get into the water car. Again, this is happening in a container possibly. And the first thing we want to do is turn the power on. So we reach under the dash and we turn the switch. In this case I've turned it to all. And then up on the dash, if you recall, we have a second breaker. I'm going to energize that breaker. All right, so at this point, I should have power to the water car. I'm going to turn the key to the first detent. And the reason I'm doing that is it activates the fan. So think of the car as having been in an enclosed container for a month or so. We want to make sure that we get the fumes out of the engine bay prior to starting the engine. That's also a practice we want to do anytime we're on land. Let let the blowers, again, you activate them by turning the switch to the first detail. Let the blowers exchange the air in the engine compartment so that you exhaust any possible fumes. Okay, so we're exhausting fumes. Let's put the wheels down. And so we go to the button here, land, and we're going to depress that. That tells us that the wheels are fully in the down position and it's now safe to drive the water car on land. Let's look over at the emergency brake. In the emergency brake, we're just going to move to the release position. Okay, so we've got power, the wheels are down, the emergency brake is off, and we've exhausted fumes, so let's start the water car. tank, a little less than a quarter tank of fuel. If you look at the voltmeter, we're above 12, that's a good thing. The oil pressure, we have oil pressure. We always want to see that we have oil pressure. Water temperature, it's too early for it to read any real temperature, but uh, in operating mode, it will come up to about 180 degrees or so. Yeah, everything looks good at this point. So I think uh, it's time to take it for a ride. 